Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mama for the upcoming school year. We will have an eighth grader, fourth grader, kindergartner, and preschool level. Today's video, I'm gonna walk you through um, setting up a Google Classroom um, and show you some really cool Google tools um, for computer safety and things like that. So, come along. So let me get my computer set up. Okay, here we are inside Google Classroom. If you have a Google account at all, Google Classroom, you already have it. You just go um, to the, you know, the little grid dots, click on it, scroll down. Sometimes it's not like in that first box, you have to scroll down further or see more or something, um, but you will find it in there. Then um, you just set it up to be a teacher um, and then you, we'll have a page you might you might not have any classes on yours yet but i already have classes on mine so um i'm going to create a new class by clicking this plus button right here and then i will create class you have to say that you understand and i am creating a new class called computer skills um this will be for eighth grade so i'll just put that there um subject doesn't really matter, room doesn't really matter. So I hit the create button and then you can see that I have computer skills for eighth grade. Here's my class code so when I'm ready to um, invite my daughter to join the class, I can have her do it with this class code. And then classwork here, this is where we create assignments. You can connect directly to your Google Drive folder, which, um, which is super amazing because you can set up like worksheets and, and forms for them to fill out and directly connect them to any assignment here. So that's really awesome. Um, what I am going to share with you guys today is this um, applied digital skills. So <clears throat> applied digital skills period with Google period dot com. Um, I will link this down below for you guys, but this has tons of things that you can add, like celebrating Juneteenth and all kinds of other things. But what I want to do is this online safety and digital well-being. I'm going to have my daughter take that course. So I'm going to hit the share to classroom and then I'm going to select my computer skills that I just created and then I'm going to say create assignment and then I'm going to hit go um, and then this is where I will uh, online safety um, and then I will say complete the seven lessons below and then I can either hit assign or I can come down here and pick a due date that I want it done by. Um, I can, if I have headings in there, which I might go in and add, I can put that here. I don't typically do that here too much. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Um, but on the main screen, you can drag them under any topic. So that's what I most of the time do. But you can select this to put it under a specific topic. If you have topics laid out, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but, and then you can get it uh, be ungraded or you can make it any um, number of points that you want. So if you have some kind of point system that you're trying to do, um, but I just always leave it at 100 and just do it that way because um, we haven't started like co collecting real grades yet. I just noticed that I put too many L's in there. All right. But what I'm going to do is save this as a draft because I'm not ready to schedule it yet. Um, you can hit schedule for a later date. So I could hit schedule and have it go out at whatever time that I want. And I do do that sometimes. But for now, I'm just going to save it as a draft. And then when I come, um, when I go to my classroom, when I hit classwork, you'll see it's right there. So say I do want to create some of those topics. I would go here and I would put uh, online safety and hit add and then I can just drag and drop this here underneath um, and that is how I use the Google Classroom so but I wanted to go back over here to the 
um, Google for Education and the Applied Digital Skills. So you see here you can sort it by audience, you can sort it by um, what kind of tool you want to work with. So if you want to work on like learn teaching your child how to set up a Google Calendar or um, it has all kinds of things like organize your time with digital agenda, um, which I think is really great and then plan, some of it is for like adult education, so plan efficient meetings maybe not might not be the best, but plan an event um, could be something that we could use later on for her, um, but how to collaborate with other people, calendar, Google Calendar for beginners. Um, so like all kinds of great things here. And then you can also sort by topic so if you wanted to talk about computer science um, that comes up so it's a really great resource that I've found and I will be using for sure so I hope I know this is a really short little tidbit video um, but I hope you found this information helpful and useful um, if you have any other questions about setting up a Google Classroom I have a really old video it's one of my very first videos I'll link it here but it shows how like I used to use this for everything for my daughter and um, we used like a color coding system for her to know what subject or well it was like emojis to tell what subject a color code for what day um, and that system worked really well for us for a while I might be going back to that I might not I'm still working on getting my planning set up for the year um, but I now I think I'm doing like kind of separate um, separate classes for separate subjects because she is going you know into eighth grade and kind of needs to get used to that um, she is going to start an online digital class this year so um, so that's definitely something we're going to be using in the future and so yeah so that is how I use Google Classroom um, that is kind of a digital resources that I found on uh, the Google for education which I think is a really great resource um, that is absolutely free for you to use all you need is a Google account so um, don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button um, down below and give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And any questions, comments, have you tried Google Classroom, any of that, please share it in the comments down below. And I hope you'll come back and chat.